Hello everybody, this is Back Blast. Here I am again on Planet Zoo in my Burger Zoo build. Now, um, what we're going to do today is uh, whiz over the top of the penguins and a couple of other buildings. Because what we're going to do is we're going to be building this enclosure here. So this is actually a sun bears enclosure. Now somebody's asked me if I can do a build as a step-by-step -step build so they can see how I do things. Um, normally my builds take about seven or eight hours. Um, so uh, so the answer is no. <laughs> well, the answer is not no. The answer is I will I will take you through the steps of, of building this, uh, this enclosure and then um, we'll see where we go from there. Honestly, uh, I'm not going to do a good job of it in eight hours. I'm, I am trying to rush through this already so uh, let's just get going so um, the first thing we're going to do is uh, a little bit of background um, I need to I need to have a, a little look at, at the zoo and, and what this place actually looks like so what I've done is I found some videos online and um, I've, I've uh, I go through the videos and I will then take photographs of each of the uh, bits of video that I think are interesting so um, I'll find a still from the video and it might be showing how many windows are inside it might be showing the rock work uh, in the enclosure or a little waterfall or how the den is or how the main house is uh, just little bits that I, I think are going to be useful for for my purposes um, and I've looked at a couple of different videos. Um, these are all created by Burger Zoo themselves, so hopefully they don't mind me using them. Um, and hopefully uh, they see it as a bit of advertising anyway. Right, so uh, the size of the enclosure is going to be here. Now, um, there is a wall runs here, which is made of rock. Um, and there's a dip in the enclosure down here and this is higher ground here so that's roughly what we're going to do um, we also um, need to go on Google Maps because Google Maps is always the place that I go to to look at uh, sizes and distances so um, if I've shown you before you can see the total distance from here to here is 40 meters 41 meters excuse me um, and I have measured that um, within uh, within the game so I do know that I'm going roughly in the right direction and uh, approximately where everything's going to be um, I've also um, looked at different angles like where do the doors go into the building um, how does the building relate to the path there's actually an entrance pathway comes in the back here with a keeper walkway I'm not sure we're gonna have space to put anything keeper wise inside here it's quite a narrow building um, what else have we got? Um, we've got a picture showing the back of the building so I know what it's made of. It looks like a, a kind of corrugated building um, and that is the entrance bit at the back of the building that I just mentioned. Um, this is a walkway that runs around the side and following that on um, it looks interesting but we're not actually building that. This is the side of the rock work that I mentioned that comes along the whole side of the enclosure and this is how it's ro uh, rosed up, <laughs> rose, up there. Um, so I think that what we're going to do is we're going to build that to about four meters high at the back. Uh, we're going to drop it down to uh, maybe about four meters there because it looks about that deep. Um, you can see it comes down. It doesn't. Uh, it's hard to see with the plants in the way. Um, let's just go over here and have a look back it's quite difficult to see uh, I do have a photograph that shows it a little bit better so let's get on with the build quick because otherwise we're not going to have chance to uh, to do anything with it um, let's just get on to building the enclosure a little bit so what I want to do is go down to approximately where I think it's going to be I think it needs to be deeper than that so let's go to about there okay we're just going to run this along the path just for now up to about there okay that's that and then what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to sort of just push this back a little bit so it's a a smooth transition down there we are it looks a bit neater a bit nicer so it's a bit smoother there we are a bit smoother a bit smoother a bit smoother okay now this side looks awful and there is a concrete wall on this side, so we are going to be um, we're going to be filling in some of this. So hopefully we'll be able to cover a lot of it with this uh, with the concrete wall. Okay, so for now I think that what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to call that bit done uh, for now. So I said I was going to build the back up to about at least four meters, and what we're going to do there is we're going to just find a wall. Um, 
I'm not bothered what kind of wall at the moment. I just want something that indicates the right height. So these are four meter walls. So I'm just going to do that. And then we're just going to go like this and just put something in indicating roughly where we're going up to. Okay. So feel free to talk amongst yourselves. It's actually quite a thick uh, rock wall here. And I honestly don't know if there's anything inside it. You know, a uh, secret doorway, that sort of thing. Like a secret keeper's area or anything like that. I don't know. I doubt it. I don't think it is. I think it's just, just a visible rock work. But there you go. This does come all the way down to the front, I think. So if we have a look, it comes all the way down here. It does actually drop down a little bit, doesn't it? So this is um, pretty much where we're going to be building the land up to. Okay, that's all we're doing. We just want an indication of where it's going. So if we then bring this up, now it's not going to uh, it's not going to like it that much because of the pathway on the other side. There you go, and then we can get a flatten in about here. That's about right, isn't it? There we are. Now, can you see underneath? See how it's it's hollow underneath? We don't really want that. So I'm going to have to... Uh, dig from down here. So, as I said, normally my builds take about 7 or 8 hours. So to do this in sort of 20 30 minutes is going to be really difficult i um I, i'm obviously not going to do the whole lot because that would be impossible for me um this is where the rock's going to go the rock's going to come all the way down here that would be impossible for me to to do it all to a high standard and so what we're going to do is i'm going to pretty much do as much of, as i can and it slopes down again see it slopes down so it's up here at about this point and again as I said we're going to struggle because of the, uh, the pathway there but then it's going to slope down so we just want a nice gentle slope down here okay so just filling this in so yeah so an eight hour build is pretty pretty impossible really I um, I'd love to be able to show you an eight hour video of me building the whole lot maybe I'll do a, a, a twitch or something a, a live stream and build like that one day um, but not today I just want to get as much of this done as I can giving you a rough idea of the creative process that I go through right one of the things that we can do now is see these um, markers that I put down so I know where all the bits of zoo go I can now uh, get rid of a bit of that so some of this I can just get rid of so let's go like this and click delete there we are we've got rid of some of the marker there <clears throat> right this looks awful at the back well, let's um let's just tidy it up a little bit okay and we're we're there or thereabouts aren't we that's about right okay and this comes down a little bit yeah okay cool cool now, um, one of the strange things is on top of this, there's actually the rock work goes taller than the the land. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show that. So again, I know roughly where I'm going. I'm going to uh, can I duplicate you? Nope, it won't let me do that. Can I just move you? Yeah, beautiful. Right, we're going to do that like that. All right, and that gives me a good idea. So if you look back in the enclosure, we've got the land rising up, and then there's rock on top of it. All right. There's actually a, um, a a flat bit there, so let's ha let's have a look at doing that. So, and again, there'll be a lot more work comes into this because it just takes it just takes time, you know, it just takes time. Right, it's hard to see because everything's brown, but there is uh, there's there's the start of a uh, of a flatter bit there. 
we're going to have a little water following over that eventually but that's a pretty much the outside of the enclosure um, modelled <laughs> modelled right so let's start with maybe this concrete wall there's a concrete wall, wall runs along here this is going to take a little bit but I'll show you um, I'll show you what we're going to do we're going to get a plaster wall this is a four meter plaster wall um, there is a fence as well it goes on top of this so what I'm going to do is we're just going to pop it in like um, like that press X oh careful careful I don't want it I don't want it higher than the pathway you see we want it about there because again let's have a look on our on our thing you can see there's a little fence on top this little wire fence that goes on top of it so uh, maybe we'll be able to build the enclosure fence along it and it'll look better but that's that so the trick with this now is um, is to just build this along uh, following the uh, pathway so don't be tempted to just plonk them in in a straight line uh, line them up with the path so that you've got a good angle along the path there and then uh, and then pop them in so you put put it next to it where you want it to go uh, and then you can press shift and bring it down to it's the right height okay so next one's going to go in here so again line it up with the path first so is that pretty much lined up with the path there or thereabouts bring it to where you want it press shift drop it down that's about right okay next one line it up with the path click exit there so how to do an eight hour build in half an hour well what I'm gonna do obviously I'm gonna crack on through most of this as fast as I can uh, and then what I'll do is I'll finish it and then I'll show you the finished result but I just I just want to show you um, a lot of it is um, is making sure that you know what you're doing before you start so it, it's having a look at the videos it's it's having a look at photographs if you've been to the the, the zoo that you're building it, it's having a look at uh, things that people have put online so uh, maybe the zoo has a Facebook page or something like that go along and have a look go and look at the Sun bears or these are actually Malaysian bears um, in in the UK I think we tend to call them more um, Malaysian Sun bears and I think at Chester Zoo they are called Sun bears but I'm not sure um, whereas over in Arnhem where the Burgers Royal Zoo is uh, they're more known as Malaysian bears which is pretty much pretty much what they're known as in game so there we go we're just trying to line it up a little bit it's just flicking about so get it there I'm just gonna press X so that I can uh, fine-tune it there we are. La, 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 la. Uh, line it up with the path please so the path's now starting to, to turn away a little bit we're just going to go with it I'm just going to follow it along again put it roughly where it needs to go press the shift to bring it down if it's lined up just go click if not press X when it's roughly there and uh, then adjust it as required so again line it up press shift is it lined up where you want it mm, not quite so press X just just adjust it cool I'm gonna put another one on the side here we're gonna put one going like this uh, to uh, stop the bears climbing out here is the idea I imagine that the fence is gonna come here over this bit right cool so that's um that's pretty much the uh the wall done there uh the enclosure fence will go on top of that let's see if i can just put a bit of terrain straightening bits in and what i'm going to do is we're going to go down to a two on this and we're just going to try and fill a bit of this in now it, it's not going to like it there you go all right we're going to just try and fill a bit of it in we're going to cover some of it with grasses and things anyway 
and the sun bears the malaysian bears they're probably like quite a bit of foliage anyway so that shouldn't be too much of an issue so as you can see it encroaches through here uh, we're just going to try and smooth it back just use the smooth or the push 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 and we're going to lose a lot of uh yeah a lot of the work i've just done is going to disappear it's uh it's, it's too close to the pathway i think but again i'd take my time over it if i was if i was doing this myself anyway because it, it it is a lot of it's trial and error it's just pushing things and pulling things until you get it right and some bits are going to be hidden because uh, we can put grass on there and and, and rocks and, and some bits aren't but there you go that's about that done right so there was um, there's some rock work goes on top now let's have a look at the sun bear because if you know what you're building then um, if you if you know what you're building for right now i've had this problem before when i built chester zoo there is no sun bear there is no malaysian bear <coughs> excuse me but the Formo formosan bear comes from <coughs> excuse me comes from roughly the same spot i'm choking on coffee i'm trying to breathe it mm. comes from uh, a similar part of the world the other bears don't in the game uh, so the grizzlies come from north america himalayans come from a cold area up here and the polar bears are obviously quite widespread across the north of uh, of the, the world so these are the closest so we're going to be building for these we want tropical temperate tiger grade four tropical temperate tiger So go to nature, choose those, filters, biome, tropical temperate tiger. There we go. Uh, and what I'm also going to do when I go to the plants is I'm going to be looking at, um, oh, bag of pants. I'm also going to be looking at where they're from as well. So uh, sort of Formosa, Taiwan, Asia. Um, but if I do that now, then uh, it won't give me any rocks so uh, for some reason the rocks aren't in the biomes it's a bit weird but there you go right um, what rocks have I got I've got uh, mossy rock I've got dynamic mossy rock which are better uh, tiger temperate tropical uh, these look um, they've got some moss on them they look uh, quite craggy quite gray uh, a little bit of brown in them we're gonna we're gonna be building along here all right so we want some some nice big ones as base so i think we're going to put some temperate ones in like this all right and all we're going to do is make sure that uh align to surfaces switched on because that way they will spin round and give you different aspects of the rock uh, it's now said oh you're part of a group that's fine so we'll, we'll do a few of these uh, and just uh, spin them around when you're putting them in just make sure that you don't have them all facing the same way um, okay can we have you up against that that's better all right now let's choose a different rock let's go for some slightly smaller ones actually too small enough these are always good ones i like these these are well used in my zoos i don't mind at the moment that it's 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 trying to stick them onto the uh the wall at the back it's it's gluing them on it's saying hey do you want this to be part of this scenery and at the moment i'm just going oh whatever <laughs> i'm in a rush just don't don't hassle me <laughs> i'm just trying to build the thing so and, and again you know if i was doing this as a proper build um i would take my time a bit more but honestly uh, there was a there was a guy um came on to um was it was it my discord or facebook or was it a comment in the youtube it might have been comment in youtube and he um to be honest it, it was um it was a spanish guy or i think spanish got a spanish sounding name um if i'm wrong i'm sorry i'll, I'll check the name um and i'll get back to you in a in a moment um but he, he he said you know can you do like a a build 
rather than uh, just showing us the finished thing. And you know, I'm all right with that. Yeah, of course. I will. I will always do. If people ask me questions, I'll. I will always try and uh, try and do what people want uh, within within reason. You know. Um, so yeah, fine, great, great. I'll have a go at that. Right. What I'm going to do is it needs a few more rocks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dynamic mossy rocks. So yeah, so this guy gets on and um, and he, he sort of said, "Can you can you show us?" Um, can you show us more uh, of a build? And I think that's what he's asking. He was asking in um, in English, but I'm not convinced that he he made his point properly. He, he um, obviously the English was a little bit broken, and I don't have any Spanish. And uh, <clears throat> so I think he was sort of saying, "Can you can you show us a build?" So I think I I, I agreed to say, uh, "Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, no problem. We'll sort that out for you." So here we are. So somebody's asked for it. Uh, Jordy, his name was Jordy. Uh, so thank you, Jordy, for uh, for the comment. Um, Jordy Gutierrez rings a bell. Mm, maybe, maybe not. Well, I hope I, I hope I've got the right name there. Because uh, thank you, thank you so much for uh, being uh, being involved in the channel and um, you know your wish is my command and all that. Uh, not always. Uh, let's just. Uh, Put that out there. I'm using the dynamic mossy rock. The dynamic rock, mossy rock. Um, the the moss moves position um, when you change the rock orientation. So the moss is always facing upwards, you know, towards the sun, sort of thing. So yeah, you can you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just I'm just filling bits in. I want bigger rock than that. Thank you. Can we have a, a much larger one? So I remember, um, I remember giving some advice to somebody once about building uh, rock walls. And again, you know, honestly. I would take my time with this a bit more if uh, if I was if it was a proper build. Um, and I, I remember saying, look, you know, don't just put one rock in. If you put one rock in, it just looks like a, a rock wall. If you get some different coloured rocks and sink them in so that you can see them a little bit, so you will end up with a, a much more pleasing looking wall because it will look um, more like a realistic thing rather than rather than just um, something that's been plonked down uh, it will look more realistic okay so for now I think I think that's gonna have to do for now as I, as I said you know I normally take more time with it please uh, please don't shout at me <laughs> right um, and again right so once we've built that I'm gonna get rid of this wall which obviously goes through all these rocks now um, you see look at that There's a bit of wall in there somewhere. Oh, there was a, there was a gap somewhere, wasn't there? I can't remember where. Good. And now all this backside is going to be covered anyway by the bits inside the building. Um, so all this here, it's wooden planking that you can see here. All this covers the back of those rocks. So we won't be able to see those when it's all finished. So let's go back to the game. Oh, one thing I always say, um, yeah, save it regularly. Save regularly, regularly, okay? Especially if you're about to work on paths, barriers, or water. Okay, because they'll kill your game. You, you, you get rid of the water mess about with your path and then all of a sudden you uh, you can't you can't do anything uh, you can't put your water back in <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous isn't it right um, this back wall is a kind of corrugated iron um, I don't quite know what the best one to go for is here uh, I've typed in corrugated well, I, I, but, 
and I'm not convinced that that's the best one. It actually might be. It might be the best one. Um, select group to add to. So it's it's trying to add to the group, which is cool. Uh, I think you need to be there, don't you? All I'm doing is I'm putting... Oh, it needs to be a different colour, you fool. This doesn't change colour. Oh, it does change colour. It's up there. For some reason, it doesn't always show it in the right spot. Um, what colour is this? It's a kind of brown, but I can see a bit of purple in that. So let's go for something like that. And let's just go like down here and see what that looks like. Does that look all right? I think that looks right. Right, let's get rid of this brick wall. Uh, selected corrugated iron. Corrugated iron, so go to the other side. Brick wall. Brick wall. Brick. Brick. There we go. Brick wall. Beautiful. Duplicate you. You're coming down here. And like that. Back wall done. Front wall. Um, if we look at our uh, some of our video things, uh, we have one, two, three windows, four windows. One, two. She stood in one, two, three. Uh, interesting. How many windows are inside? Difficult to tell. One, two. I think there's just three. I don't think that's a different... I think there's three windows inside there. Okay, that's all the photos I took from the video. I think there's three. We're going for three there. Three windows. Um, so how many can I actually fit in here? And I'm, I'm not convinced these are corrugated inside either. If you can just see this here... That looks like brickwork. All right. And I've noticed on one of the other videos, they look like brickwork. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a painted brick. Painted brick. Uh, painted brick wall. All right. This is what we want. And we're going to go for painted brick window large. And these are more of a darker gray. So, yeah, that looks about right for an indoor an indoor building and if you look on the the floor here we've got three big squares one two three we can use these can't we we can go one two three and then there was a diagonal wall so if we come out of that we should now be able to go like that and pressing Z to get the angle on it get the angle of dangle and this is going to go approximately there now you can see it doesn't it doesn't meet the other one <laughs> which is okay in fact i might i might mess about with the path here so what i'm going to do is because i'm going to play about with the path save it uh, i have two different save i have three actually um i have three different save files um just in case uh, I need to go back to a previous one. You know, if I, if I mess something up and then think, oh, no, I need to go back, then I tend to have a, a, at least a couple of uh, of backups. Right. Can we just duplicate you, please? Good. Control and D to duplicate something. And I'm going to go like this. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this wall. Boom. Right. How do I get my path to go in diagonally here? Um, so paths. If I get rid of this bit and then do this. Now the people who, who are going to be using the path will tend to use the middle of the path. So I could probably get away with doing that. So there is part of the path out here. If I'm desperate that they don't walk through the wall, we can always do the little trick. All right. And what we do is... We go to bins, get this lovely little square bin here, and we pop it right behind the wall. All right, uh, people won't walk through the bins. 
so we're just going to put a few in um, they will throw rubbish into them um, but they won't walk through them and your uh, your janitors will clean them as well I should be all right they, they, they will, shouldn't walk through that they'll be fine okay uh, I'm gonna do the same up this end eventually um, now the actual enclosure inside for the bears as we can see from this maybe can we see it has um this is a back door there's a door goes here into a back room there's also a little door behind this young lady's shoulder um i think she's called noelle she does all the video or she does most of the videos for burgers zoo uh she's very good unfortunately she speaks dutch and i can't understand what she's saying but the videos are very good <laughs> right um okay so there we go we're uh, we're getting there right what i've noticed is i've been recording for about half an hour which is long enough for a video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this into a two-parter and we'll i'll come back with the second part of the build and that'll be in a separate video I'll, it'll be released on the same day as this uh, if you um yeah if you want to watch all the way through then great if not then that's fine there'll be a bit right at the end showing the zoo layout all right so this is just build i'll be back with video number two in just a moment 